Hello, this is stage two of the new rehabilitation. Stage two is basically uh, from the week two to week six after the injury. Please don't forget that the uh, phase one exercises that uh, I hope you've been doing already are extremely important. So please carry on doing them. You could uh, adapt some repetition. Obviously, I believe your stamina will be getting much um, better. Um, and adapt these ex adapt exercises, uh, which I'm going to show you today. So the, the exercises that we're going to focus on today are, um, they will be in standing. So we're going to involve a big group, much bigger group of muscles working against the gravity, the whole core muscles and um, you know, the, the muscles that are responsible for the balance. So in this position, still wear a brace, engage your abdominal muscles, the whole core, squeeze your glutes muscles. That will definitely help with the, um, uh, with the balance. Um, and you know, um, I know that the fitness might be different. So for those of you who need some support because the balance is still not, you nervous and the balance is still, still not there, use a chair or something that you can hold with both hands or you can hold with one hand if you're better, just with one finger. The best outcome is not holding to anything and just engaging the muscles just to keep us um, in the position. The first exercise, it will be just lifting the toes up, engaging you know, the two groups of muscles, maybe this position will be better. So we are standing straight and engaging the, lifting your toes up and down. Sorry, <laughs> my balance is not brilliant today, 10 times. Okay, working towards up to 30. The second exercise will be working on the calf strengthening. So engaging the quads, engaging the, I mean, engaging the core, engaging the glutes, and lifting our heels as much as possible. Or as high as you're comfortable, I would say. We're going to do this 10 times, working towards 30. Okay, exercise number three, the same position, uh, engaging the gluteus and the, abs the core muscle um, and lifting your leg up and down. Nice and control, keeping your knee as straight as possible 10 times, up to 30 if possible. And it's again, if you can, try not to put your leg down. If your balance is not 100%, each time rest the, put the legs on the floor and start again. Now we're doing, this is the same position we're going with the leg uh, to the side. Okay, so this position, hold your uh, core very tight and your glutes. And now it's quite difficult, especially when you are not balanced, when you're balancing just on the one leg, you can always hold to something for, because it's important to do this properly. We're extending the leg to the side, but try to keep the foot parallel. Okay, so maybe I'll just hold to something just to show you better. The foot needs to be parallel to the other leg and engage and hold and not in control coming back. Lots of us have this tendency of really going like that, which is wrong. The leg needs to be rotated. Ideally, you know, the best position is parallel, one foot to the other, or this is just even better if we can try and rotate the foot inwards and initiate the movements with the heel, but keep your knees straight and remember about the engaging the other muscle and slowly coming back. So you should really feel the strain here in this area, not here, just on the top of your hip. 
So aiming for 10 up to 30. So that, and we are nice and solid in the upper part of our body. Okay, um, and the last one, nice and tight. And it's again important trying not to rotate in the hips. Just really tight your glutes, uh, squeeze your glutes as much as possible. Brace your leg and going backwards. And slowly coming back. Try not to rotate in the hip area. Going backwards. And coming back. Five to ten. Ten, I would say. Now you can do ten. And you're working towards 30. Okay. In the phase two, the other half of the exercises, we will be focusing on flexion uh, of the knee because we need to start working towards increasing the range of movement in the injured knee joint. Okay. So uh, if you have at home a step like that, very professional, it's great. If not, something very stable, um, knee height, so it could be your sofa, it could be your bed that you're sleeping on, um, but it has to be stable, cannot move, okay? You don't want any injury. So I would like you to just uh, hold to the, to the bed like this and try to bend your knee up to this position. So we're trying to keep the 90 degrees angle. Uh, the, the foot is supporting the lower leg very nicely and now with your with your body weight I would like you to keep your hip up I would like you to try to move your shift your body forward okay, like this and hold between three five at the beginning and gently moving back keep wearing a brace the brace will stop you from um, excessive movements and that's very good pain management as well. Okay, so we're holding to five and slowly moving back. So you could do up to five repetition, again holding between three to five seconds at the beginning, extending towards ten. The next exercise will be on the floor. You could support your back like this and it will be just Sorry, flexing, dragging your heel as much as you can, flexing, bending your knee. And if this is that much as you can do, pause for five, ten seconds if possible, and dragging your leg. Your, your leg is still supported with the heel in touch with the surface to the full extension. Okay? We will do once more. Try to flex your knee as much as your body, as your knee will allow you to. And hold in this position for a couple of seconds, pause. And keep pushing your heel, stretch your leg down. You could work between five repetitions towards 10. That exercise will be nicely increasing the range of movement in the knee joint. I like this exercise. Um, this exercise basically is, um, you need to keep the angle. So don't keep the leg too close towards your face or too, too far away. Nice and straight. I always look at my bedroom window, sorry, mirror. Support the injured knee with your hand. And now with the gravity, allow your foot to drop as much as possible as your body or the pain will allow you to. If this is just like this and it's painful, doesn't matter, hold it for a couple of seconds and go back, okay? So uh, we are working towards increasing the flexion in the knee as much as possible, working daily or twice a day, um, which is even better, okay? And the last exercise, um, focusing on the knee flexion will be lying on your on your front and now you will use your good leg as a support please uh, 
good flick or like put your good leg under the injured one and very slowly try to lift your lower leg towards you know like bend the leg as much as you can as much as your body and pain will allow you to so if this is the maximum that you can do it's just great this leg it's basically preventing you from like sudden or painful movement and also try to use that good leg with like pushing your knee if possible to a bigger flexion to the bigger bend uh, but don't do the jerking movement that bad just you know just try to hold it in the one stable position for a couple of seconds and then slowly relax you could do five to ten flexion which is brilliant really good okay so that will be the flexion that you can do in the phase two at the, for the moment please remember keep your knee for the sorry keep the brace on and at the end um i will show you my favorite exercise which is the plank which is involving uh, including a big group of muscles working together um, and at the same time it's making it's stretching our hamstrings very well as well as the calf muscles and the achilles tendon because this on the injured leg specifically all these muscles are getting really tight so it's good to finish now each exercise with a plank so you know like you're keeping your hands fingers spread out and keeping your hands as an extension on the shoulder engaging your uh, core muscles squeezing your glutes and uh, try to keep your knees as straight as possible and we hold into 10 if you can hold to 30 seconds you know and you do like a three repetition of the plank position okay so i hope you, you will find this exercise useful and uh, now i'm going now i'm going to show you the, the phase three exercise um in the next video thank you